No, I, I still hold my view in that sense because uh, I think 10 days doesn't really change in terms of macro perspective. I do think that the global environment is gradually improving. And I think a lot of the, uh, the, uh, the rally that we've seen in India is really being fueled by the fact that we, we probably will see tapering only in 2014. So that it does create a bit of a gap, a bit of an opportunity uh, for you know, tactical trade position to be put on uh, in terms of India. If we look at the macro environment, I think there's still a lot of uncertainties. Of course, I think you know, some degree of political clarity is helpful, but I don't think things have changed all that much compared to two weeks ago. I think well, tapering is definitely not set in 2013 as we run out of time for this year. Uh, whether it will take place in, in March in 2014, that remains to be seen because there's still a few hurdles. Number one, uh, how the government shutdown in October is impacting on the economy, impacting on the job market. We will only really find out and, uh, towards the end of this year and maybe in January of 2014. And then we can make a proper assessment. Number two, uh, there's still another potential government shutdown looming uh, over over middle of January and again the Fed is going to be weary of this potential uh, potential problem so I think uh, in that sense the earliest we could see uh, uh, tapering being announced is March but there's always the possibility that this could be postponed later in the year even though my personal view is that the Fed really should uh, start to taper and as soon as they can but in terms of what they should do and what they will do is clearly very different what they should do is do it now but then what they will do is probably well March the earliest Well, I think it will continue for some time and typically you do see uh, the fourth quarter of the year being a very constructive quarter for equities on a seasonal basis. So I think, you know, this party could continue for some time and hopefully uh, that could actually trigger some upside in terms of uh, a local spending, a local investment. But I think at the moment, uh, I do expect the uh, uh, risk on sentiment to continue for at least another, you know, two or three months. Uh, and also the fact is when tapering comes, we will see, uh, very unlike we're very likely to see some knee-jerk reaction in the equity market. But overall, the bottom line is that, uh, you know, the Fed will only taper when the U.S. economy is in better shape and that eventually will cheer the market despite the knee-jerk knee reaction. Well, I think once the, uh, the tapering discussion clears out, I think I agree with you. But when the tapering discussion is being brought back to the fore, at the moment, I think market, while they have not eliminated the, the possibility of tapering, they've certainly delayed the expectation of tapering. So in that sense, I think a lot of the, the uh, investment dollars right now, they're not necessarily positioning for long term, they're positioning for the short term. So you know, between now and whenever the Fed restart the whole tapering discussion, uh, I think the market will be in a pretty bullish mode. But when tapering discussion comes back to the fore, I think the market will uh, you know, still react in a similar fashion to what we saw back in the summer, albeit I don't necessarily believe it will be the same magnitude. But nonetheless, I think the risk off uh, sell off could well still come uh, when the Fed brings back the whole tapering discussion. Well, I think absolutely. I think uh, if you look, I'm, I'm looking at 12 to 18 months, possibly longer investment horizon. I do think as the world gets better, you know, notwithstanding the volatility during the tapering discussion, uh, I do think that cyclicals are likely to perform well. Uh, at the same time, I think Indian investors should also look uh, overseas because we have seen markets like the US, like Europe, like Japan, which have performed pretty well in 2013. And I do think that their outlook remains constructive. So obviously, you know, we're always fighting against a very high yield in fixed income in India. But nonetheless, I think investors really ought to look at diversification because my view is that uh, the potential upside for um, fixed income is likely to be more limited uh, going forward. But at the same time, uh, it's going to be a much more a market driven by equities or a portfolio return driven by equities, not only for Indian investors, but also for global investors.